cursor over or move the cursor that way. You got it? Alexa, what day is it? It's Thursday, March 22nd. Alexa, what time is it? It's 9.31 a.m. Alexa, turn on light one. Yep, it's me, Linton, again. And we are working on um, the um, impact of this um, infertility on history. Um, good stuff to Ray there. And here we are, you're accustomed to these coordinates. Um, the uh, horizontal axis there is years since the uh, uh, dynasty was founded. Vertical axis is the chance of the dynasty going on. This is Japan. Now, it's all the same civilization, really. Uh, Asian, East Asian dynasties are as durable, probably a little more durable than entire Western civilizations uh, go figure. All right, so there we are. Here is Japan, there, and there's a notch. Got the notch there? Mentioned that notch when we were looking at Danish information. There's the there's that brick wall, 300 years. No dynasty goes past 300 years, but they got a really good chance of surviving up until about that time. Here is China. For contrast, China, as you can see, is extremely stable dynasties and then they go splat. There's a little notch there in the Chinese um, survival experience, matching precise here within, give or take, of the 50-year increments we've chosen. Uh, the, um, uh, the, the notch is in the same increment. In other words, yeah, it's real. Don't know whether it's the same notch we see in Denmark, we will see that notch again later. Again later. So, um, so Japan uh, matches China. Japan is not as stable as China. Notice that in the first fifty years, there's a increase in the probability of survival for the next fifty years. Uh, evidently, there are powerful families. There are power centers within Japan, historically speaking, not found in China. Remember that Confucian thing and uh, uh, sterilizing the uh, rich and powerful in China, not so in Japan. So the early on, uh, Japanese dynasties, if they can make it through the 50 years, then they do pretty well. Then there's that vulnerable notch when the population goes down, as we'll be seeing, and then they recover bit and then splat. So, China is like Japan, except for the evidence that it just is not quite as stable. There's evidence for the old families, and um, but one Chinese dynasty may have made it past 300 years. That's that's not a big number. Uh, so. There we go. Emperors of Asia. People of unbelievable power and resources. Um, just in terms of the number of people who did what they were told. And um, next time we'll be looking at a similar, um, a similar situation, but at the other end of the food chain, so to speak. We will go from the richest people history can ever imagine to just about the poorest. We'll see the same thing. All right. Well, thank you.